Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. In our final lesson, we're going to take a look at further optimizations with third party tools. We'll focus first of all on page caching, which can really improve your website's loading speeds, and equally will provide a much better experience for your visitors. Whilst there are many types of caching available, in this lesson, we'll focus on page based caching. To understand how caching works, let's first explore what happens when somebody visits your website. In its simplest form, the process is as follows. A visitor will come to your website. Their browser will talk to your web server, which then loads your website. Requests are sent to the database. Files are sent back to the user's browser. And then the web page is built and displayed. This process can sometimes take several seconds to complete. Caching simply replaces these steps and sends a static HTML file to the browser instead, which will load much faster. When a visitor first comes to your website, the cached files are created, effectively taking a snapshot of your website, which is then delivered to future visitors, providing a much, much faster experience. After we've configured our page-based caching, we'll then explore what minification is and what it can do for our website's performance, as well as exploring some additional performance configurations. To enable these features on our website, we'll first take a look at the premium WP Rocket plugin and then the free Lightspeed Cache plugin. Before we get started with installing WP Rocket, let's first run a speed test to see just how long our website is taking to load. We're going to use a service called Pingdom to perform this test, but there are many others available, including GT Metrics, Lighthouse, and Uptrends, to name but a few. When running speed tests on your website, it is usually a good idea to run the test several times. From these results, you can then take an average reading which will give you a better indication of just how well your website is performing. Let's also remind ourselves that we've already applied many optimizations and improvements to our website already, like reducing our DOM size in Lesson 1, optimizing our images in Lesson 2, as well as additional performance boosts that we applied in Lesson 3. Here we are on the Pingdom website. Let's enter our website address and then select Start Test. After a few seconds, you should see your test results. As you can see, we have achieved a score of B84, showing a page size of 976.2 kilobytes, a load time of 823 milliseconds, and 45 requests. This is a great starting point for our final lesson. And once we've enabled page caching, as well as some other optimizations with the WP Rocket plugin, we should see an even better score. Now that we have a starting point to compare future tests against, let's download and install the WP Rocket plugin. Let's head to the WP Rocket website, and then we'll log into our account. From here, we can download the latest version of the plugin and save it to our computer. Now let's head over to the WordPress dashboard and install the plugin. Before we install the WP Rocket plugin, however, please ensure that you have backed up your website's files. It's always a good idea to have a backup in case anything goes wrong during the optimization phase of any website. Once the plugin has installed, a new option will appear in the toolbar which provides some useful links to help you manage WP Rocket. First is a link to the settings of the plugin. We'll explore this in more depth shortly. Next, we have the clear cache option. This option allows you to clear the cache on your website. Useful if you've recently made a change to your content or the configuration of the WP Rocket plugin. And if your server is configured to work with OP Cache, you will see this option here. For more information about OP Cache, please consult the WP Rocket documentation or speak to your hosting provider. Next, we have a link to the WP Rocket documentation, frequently asked questions, and support. If we head down to the Settings tab, we will also see a new entry here, which will take us to the WP Rocket configuration area. Before we amend any of these settings, now would be a great time to rerun our test on Pingdom. Please be aware that by simply installing and activating WP Rocket, many configurations have been applied in the background which will boost the performance of our loading times. The most important change which has happened is that page caching is now enabled. 
So let's run a new test and see just how much has changed by simply installing WP Rocket. Here we can see our performance grade is the same, but we have reduced our file size slightly, as well as reduced our number of requests. But the biggest and most important improvement is the load time, which is coming in at just 433 milliseconds now. This is certainly a positive impact considering all we've done is install the WP Rocket plugin. As well as page caching, WP Rocket also includes many other optimizations which can further help to increase the performance of your website. On the WP Rocket settings page, you'll see on the left hand side all of the available configuration options which are linked to the plugin. The first tab, which is caching, allows you to apply some tweaks to the default caching configuration. By default, caching for mobile devices is switched on, and it would be wise to leave this on unless you have a specific reason why you wouldn't want to cache your website files for mobile devices. We'll leave the next option off as we do not have a dedicated mobile theme on our website. Under the user cache settings, you have the ability to create cached files for each logged in user of your website. This can be extremely useful if you run a membership website or something similar. We'll leave this off for our website. And finally, we'll leave the cache lifespan as the default 10 hours, but feel free to amend this if your requirements are different here. Once you've finished configuring this section, be sure to save your changes. The next tab allows us to manage some additional file optimizations to the CSS and JavaScript files. First of all, we have an option to minify the CSS. But what does minify mean? Minify, or minification, is the process of eliminating white spaces and comments from code and markup in your web pages and script files, resulting in smaller file sizes. It's one of the most popular techniques for reducing website load times and bandwidth consumption. When we enable this option, we are presented with an alert informing us that this could break our website. There is a small chance that the changes made by WP Rocket may break your website's layout. Once you have applied a change here, it is a good idea to clear the cache and then visit your website in an incognito window to check that your website is appearing correctly. Moving on will enable the Combined CSS Files option, which again shows us a warning, so be sure to save your settings, clear the cache and then visit your website to ensure that the layout isn't broken. The Combine Files option will merge all of your CSS files into one, reducing the HTTP requests. Next, you can specify if you would like to exclude any CSS files from the previous two options. This is very helpful if you've noticed a particular part of your website isn't displaying or working correctly, as you can add the CSS file associated with the error to this area for exclusion. The final option here optimizes the CSS delivery by eliminating render blocking CSS. Let's enable this and save our changes. If we now clear our cache and perform a hard refresh on our website, we can test to see if any of the CSS configurations have broken our layout. As you can see, our website still looks great, so we can continue on to the JavaScript settings next. Just like the CSS settings, we have a minification option for the JavaScript files. The same rules apply here. We are presented with a warning before we are able to switch this option on, and ensure that you test your website often after amending any of these settings. We'll also enable the combined JavaScript file setting, and as you can see, we can choose to exclude any JavaScript files which may not be working correctly with these optimization settings applied. The last option we'll enable is the Load JavaScript Deferred setting. By enabling Load JavaScript Deferred, all of the JavaScript files on your page, including those minified by WP Rocket, will be loaded with the Defer attribute. This means that they will be deferred and will not block the downloading of other assets on your website. Let's now save our settings, clear the cache, and check our website one more time, just to make sure that it's showing correctly. Now that we have configured our caching and file optimization options with the WP Rocket plugin, let's head back to Pingdom to perform our final website speed test. We'll enter our website address again, and then select Start Test. As you can see, we're now seeing an even more positive result. 
From our initial test, we've gone from a performance grade of B84 to A92, page size of 976.2 kilobytes to 960.4 kilobytes, 45 requests to just 21. And the most important stat of all, our load time has gone from 823 milliseconds to a rather impressive 349 milliseconds. These are some great results. As well as the configurations we've already made, WP Rocket actually provides many more optimization settings which can help with your website's performance. These include media improvements, where you can enable lazy load, as well as a very helpful image dimension setting, which can assist with layout shift. Preload can also be extremely useful, as it preloads your cache automatically, meaning that the first person to visit your website will view the cached files, rather than them being created when the first visitor comes along. WP Rocket has plenty of other options for optimizing your website's performance. Be sure to look into them if you want to improve the efficiency of your website. Please see the official WP Rocket documentation for more information. Whilst WP Rocket is a great plugin which can help you to improve the loading times of your website, it is a premium plugin and may not be a viable option for all users. With a quick search in the WordPress plugins area, we can see that there are many free page caching options available. One of these is called Lightspeed Cache. This free plugin boasts many features which rival those of WP Rocket, so it's a great free alternative. Once installed, you simply need to create a domain key, which is quick and easy to do. You will then be free to explore the configurations and settings. As always, when making amendments with a third party tool like Lightspeed Cache, Ensure that you have backed up your website first and perform regular tests on the front end of your website to ensure that the layout is appearing correctly. Under the cache settings, we can see many options here which will allow us to manage the cache configuration applied by the plugin. Be sure to explore the tabs at the top to fine tune each and every aspect with your website's caching. Moving on, we can see that the Lightspeed Cache has a helpful CDN integration feature. If your website is using a CDN, be sure to spend some time here to properly configure this service to work well with your website. Lightspeed also has image optimization built in, which is great as it means you will not need to install an additional plugin to manage this aspect. The page optimization area includes many features to increase the efficiency of your website, including minification for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. Google font optimization, lazy loading, and many other improvements. And finally, Lightspeed also has a database cleaning tool which will help keep your database optimized. Feel free to explore the Lightspeed documentation to further understand all of the features this plugin provides. Page caching can have a big impact on the experience that your website users will receive. Spending some time configuring and testing optimization plugins like we've covered here can be beneficial not only to your website's users, but also to you and your business. A fast loading website will always be favored over a slow loading website, and by ensuring that you stick to the topics discussed during these lessons, you are giving yourself the best chance to have a website which will make visitors want to return time and time again. Thanks for watching. Comment below with any questions, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.